if a denotes multiplied by c denotes subtract d denotes added to and b denotes divided by then which of the following equations is true such questions you just have to go with the trial and error method yes you have to put in check for each option which is the uh, correct option which has the right equation so if you see the correct answer you will get it as option 2 so what does option 2 say 14 d 12 what is d d is nothing but added to add right and b is nothing but divided by 2 and a is nothing but uh, multiplied by 3 that is equal to equal to is what um, equal to is the same right no symbol for equal to is the same so this is what they have given so you have 14 plus 12 by 2 that is 6 6 into 3 is equal to 32 so here you have 14 plus 18 that is equal to 32 which is the correct one so the correct answer here is option 2 identify the correct response from the given premises stated according to the following symbols yes actually the question is very easy like Vidya says see what is given here first thing that when you see this question what will you think see they have given what A, B, C, D, E and F stand for and here they have given X and Y so suddenly you might feel what are they trying to say okay see X and Y here are just variables okay what do you know see you know F stands for equal to so 4Y F X 4Y F 3 X this means 4Y is equal to 3x similarly when you have 3x f 6 z yes 3x f 6 z so here i can say 3x is equal to 6 z or i can say x is equal to 2 z here i have uh, x is equal to uh, 4 by 3 y so what is the relationship between y and z the relationship between y and z is 4 by 3 y that is equal to 2 z or 4 y that is equal to 6 is it right or I can say 2 y that is equal to 3 is it so what is uh, what is the symbol that is used for equal to 2 y f 3 is it which is the option option 4 okay is it clear a very different question no from the general question types that we have been solving but very easy yeah it's a very different type of question but very easy one so now if this question comes such a question comes in the examination now I know for sure all of you who have attended this session will get it correct. It was a very easy one. You will not skip it. So, correct answer here is 2y f 3 z. Yes, you can simply replace 3x with 6 z. Yeah, now the logic is clear to you. You can definitely do that. See, you know this f stands for equal to. So, instead of that, you can replace it here. No issues. I just explained it. That's all. Okay. Like you say, you didn't find out x is equal to what? Directly you can say, see, you know 4y that is equal to 3x, you know 3x is equal to 6z. Directly you can equate 4y is equal to 6z because here 3x and 3x is common. I found out what is the value of x and then equate it. This is actually not required. Directly you can do it with this step. Since it's a new type of question, I just explained it. That's all. You need not go to the fractional part. This part is not even required. Directly at this point, you will get the answer 2y f 3z. Again, you have to do a trial and error method here to arrive at the answer. Here, greater than denotes plus, less than denotes minus, etc. Choose the correct statement of the following. So, what will the first option be? The first option will be 13 plus 7 minus 6 uh, plus denotes what? Divided by 2 equal to denotes less than 3, 4. Yes, so you have 13 plus 7 that is 20, 20 minus 3 that is 17 less than 12 not possible right 17 is not less than 12 so first option doesn't follow similarly now check the second option what do you have you have 9 plus greater than is plus no yeah 9 plus 5 plus 4 is equal to 18 divided 18 divided by 9 plus 16 so this is nothing but 18 is equal to 18 yeah option 2 is your correct answer